This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... All right, so let's talk. Mark Warden, controversial comments. As those of you uh, uh, who read the Huffington Post and follow the Free State Project may know, uh, Free State Project participant and state rep Mark Warden in New Hampshire made some controversial comments, which I was about to say weren't all that controversial, but really they are. And, uh, oh, by way of full disclosure, I should... Uh, let you know that Mark Warden has hired me in the past, I guess it has been about three years since the last time, to do real estate videos. I, I, the first look at the comments didn't really raise my eyebrow that much, but I missed the last part of his statement. Basically, he's talking about um, abusive relationships and making the claim that uh, people can leave them. Uh, I didn't really read it that way the first time I saw the quote, but the last part of it kind of, yeah, yeah, that's kind of what he said. And um, basically, uh, to read the whole quote for you, quote, some people could make the argument that a lot of people like being in abusive relationships. It's a love-hate relationship. It's very, very common for people to stick around with somebody they love who also abuses him or her. Is the solution to those kinds of dysfunctional relationships going to be more government, another law, I'd say no, unquote. Now, up to that point, what he's saying is both accurate and relatively, it's pretty reasonable. Um, it's the last sentence that got him in trouble. Quote, people are always free to leave, unquote. Or at least, to me, that's the part of the, the statement that was questionable. Now, he's already apologized, and, you know, when you, if all of us were held to the same standard that he's being held to right now, anyone, you could find 10 or 20 things that, everyone has said that's at least that controversial. But he's a state rep, so he's supposed to be held to a higher standard. And I would suggest with these fines, it's going to add insult to injury if somebody not only gets pulled over, harassed, intimidated, and delayed by like just being pulled over for not wearing the seatbelt properly over your shoulder. And that's what the folks over at Granite State Progress, I guess, uh, were working to do uh, when they promoted his controversial statement and demanded an apology. Now, I think what's happening here is you see that for the last few months, it seems like maybe you could say for the last few years, maybe even the last 10 years, Free Staters have pretty much had it their way uh, in terms of PR. They don't get quite as much as they want, um, but by and large, it's always helped them. And I think folks uh, on the progressive side in New Hampshire are trying to figure out, well, how can we turn that against them? How can we make PR work against them? Uh, you know, a couple months ago, a state rep made comments that, you know, people's freedoms should be restricted so we can go, stop the free staters from moving here. And that generated a lot of attention going our way. Um, and it, it, I guess there was another incident before that. I can't even remember which one it was. There's so many different instances where we've been in the press. Um, and it always seems to help us. Uh, but, but that's the thing that I think folks, if, if they're really making any kind of specific effort to, to attack us, which I think they are, um, the thing that they don't understand is that we've configured our um, conflict strategically, geographically, uh, so that we can't really lose, basically, as long as people are talking about us. Now, there are some exceptions to this statement, but by and large, it's very difficult for us to lose as long as people are talking about us, because we have that ace in the hole. Very well. We have that large base of potential movers uh, around the country who many of them have never heard of us. So if, if anybody's talking about us in, in any kind of national context, it just exposes more potential movers to what we're doing and more of them move here. And, and, and they can be exposed as a result of negative publicity or positive publicity. It doesn't really matter because the people we're trying to recruit will see right through the negative publicity since they don't trust the mainstream press. Other factions in New Hampshire don't have this working for them. Like, Granite State Progress is not, uh, <laughs> they're not trying to recruit a bunch of people to, you know, who love big government to move to the smallest government state in, 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 uh, in uh, America. And if they tried to do that, that would probably go over pretty badly with their recruities. So basically, I say it's our job to go out there and offend people and get 
uh, denounced in the press every week, if possible. Nowadays, it doesn't happen quite that often. Uh, but we'll be there sooner or later. It would be better, of course, to get denounced for saying something that is both accurate and uh, objectively reasonable. Saying that people are always free to leave a, a, an abusive relationship, that's simply not accurate. And I think that's probably why Mark apologized. But again, when people are talking, you know, you know words don't always come out exactly the way your thoughts uh, uh, form them. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance at nhliberty.org. Now, if you were to go over to the State House in New Hampshire and say nhliberty.org, well, lots and lots of nhliberty.org members would hear you because they're all over the place at the State House. You can't swing a fist without hitting one of them. I hope you'll join them at nhliberty.org. Or maybe I should say, I hope you'll join us, because I am a member. 